Are we are, uh, we, are we live uh, testing? Uh, yeah, I think we are. Oh, all right. Okay, hey, this is Evan, otherwise known as ACDC Gamer, and this is the, uh, uh... The icon, the what? massive ego of Chance McMichael, the guy you wish you were. Because if you were him, you could do anything you want, whenever you wanted to, even if you haven't done it yet. Okay. I mean, I was just going to say, you know, this is the, uh, like, whatever, insert name here podcast, because uh, we're basically doing a reboot of what was previously known as HDC Gamecast, but considering that it was very uh, centric around my own name, you know, because it's all about me, of course, uh, yeah. I decided to stop with that dumb name. So, yeah. Yeah. If you'll notice, there's only two people in this episode because we're underachievers. Yes, because Dano and Mega Man, are, for instance, are, uh, or Kyle, sorry, are pretty much too lazy to, I don't even know what Dano's up to, I think he's working or something. Ugh, work. And Kyle's just being work. Kyle cool and can't do shit with his friends, because he's too busy hanging out with his famous friends who are famous. And famous. Yeah, that's what I was going to say too. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, so it's been like more than a year since we did our last episode and yeah. amazingly if you go on the uh, my podcast website which is where like i host the podcast and stuff or where i where, did host them i think i'm gonna upload the uh the episodes like to the site like under a new name of course but uh and then i'll also upload them on youtube yeah uh, uh, that's the plan at least um but yeah like the latest the last episode we did which was episode seven of ACDC Gamecast has like 10,000 downloads. I have no idea. Um, it makes I, me wonder, like, who the hell is actually, like, listening to, to uh, like, that crap? Because, see, seriously. Uh, Evan, Evan. Yeah. I have a confession. Um, I actually downloaded the episode 9,900 times or so. and Really? Yeah. It, most of it was me. Really? Yeah. Why would you download it 900 times? Wouldn't it take, like, a day for you to, like... So you basically spent, like, three years, like, once per day for three years, actually, like, downloading episode seven. So it reached... I don't even know how it's possible, because it's been, it's been less than three years since that episode was released. So... I still did it. Fuck you. Uh, okay, good for you. Um, so anyway, we're basically going to talk about gaming stuff and whatever the hell we want, and we're going to bore you to death, because there's only two of us here, and it's going to be very droning, thanks to me. Yeah. But we have Chance Forever here, and, you know, of course... Hi, uh, guys! Yeah, and, and you know, thanks to him, you know, he's the, the main driving force of, you know, any podcast that features, yeah. you know, me in it, or anyone, you know, anyone of the, you know, previously I could, known I as the Mario Machinima podcast would automatically turn, like, Jesusified, I guess would be the... Yes, one. yes. I think, you, I think you've uh, basically nailed, put the nail in the coffin on that one. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so... That I fucked well, the yeah. body. Yeah. All right then. So we have absolutely like, we have no clue of what to name the podcast. Like if we're you know if we're gonna go on with it because obviously you know I'm I have, I'm very consistent with you know actually making shit and then putting it on YouTube for you guys to watch or whatever you know not videos necessarily or you know but doing podcasts and stuff because I'm just too lazy to do anything. Like seriously, I am. Yeah. So um. He wouldn't even give me head last night. Oh come on, Chance. Uh, I know. I know. You're you're a dick. Uh. Uh, that that being said, uh, we basically need a name for our podcast. So, uh, basically, just uh, comment on my channel, uh, you know, youtubecom slash game or or you can comment on Chancer Forever's channel and just. Uh, I, I actually, Chancer my channel. my comments are down, so oh. fuck that. Well, do it anyway. God damn it! Find a, find a way around it. <laughs> send no, me but, a um, message. Yeah. I'll look at it. Yeah, yeah. Swear. Well, send, yeah, send message or do a co you know comment saying it, and uh, you know maybe we'll we'll perhaps consider your idea if it's good. You know we actually have to like it first. To, perhaps uh, yeah. we can't say you, you know so it can't be you know chances juicy watermelon podcast because or chance sucking yeah. off ACDC because uh, we don't do that. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Chance, you're like really throwing me off. Uh, no, just, I do that sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you know, it can't, you know, it, I mean, you could say, you know, oh, you know, how about doing, you know, Chance's Juicy Watermelon podcast? Well, that's kind of stupid. I don't know why you would have a Juicy Watermelon with you at all times. It just doesn't make I sense. I do. Sometimes I drill a it's hole in and fuck it. It's not relevant to the uh, conversation, but yeah. Um, anyway, so just send me a message or whatever, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll come up with a name by the next episode or the next, you know, the third yeah. or the tenth episode. If there even um, is a third episode or... Yeah, yeah, that's if, you know, we actually keep going on with this and stuff because of, uh, you know, just how, how good I am with, you know, actually doing shit. Yeah, you're I, so, you're so productive. Yeah, very, I'm very productive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more productive than freaking you. Yeah, you're, you're productive. <laughs> I'm less productive than you. 
You're more productive than me. We You're a productive that. creator in the same way that Michael Bay is a director. <laughs> there we go. Let's that's, all laugh that's, at that. The, the, sad, the sad thing about that is that it's true. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, last weekend on Sunday, the 27th, the Nintendo 3DS uh, was released in the United States. And uh, for those of you who are listening from Europe, I don't know if any of you are, but um, you'll say, oh, we got the 25th. Screw you. We're Americans. Yeah, fuck America. Europe. We, uh, we, we beat you on our soil that was actually yours at the time because we... You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, you gave birth to us. We love you. You're right. <laughs> um, so yeah, the uh, the 3DS is now out. It has made its release in basically every big territory. It's in Japan, which uh, it's out in Japan, which you know, of, uh, which is unfortunately suffering from their earthquake and nuclear yeah. reactor incidents. Uh, my heart goes out to them. Well, not really, but I'm just saying that for uh, the publicity. Yeah. For, say, oh, maybe this guy's pretty cool. While well, I'm not, I'm a douchebag. So yeah. no, no. I mean, no, no. No, honestly, though, I, I really hope for the best for Japan. They're awesome. Uh, they, you know, I I want games. So I, I hope Japan lives through yeah, this. Yeah, I, I like them. I like Japan, kinda. Yeah. Japan. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, so, yeah, they're, they're going through some pretty tough shit right now, and yeah. so, you know, I would, I would, uh, I would donate to them, uh, if I were you, you know, $1 or $10 or whatever, you know, to support their, you know, support the cause and, you know, help, uh, get them on the, back on their feet, because they're going through some rough shit. Uh, yeah. crap, so, so, yeah, so the 3DS, um, yeah, that's where I we're got it at. day one, I don't know why I got it on day one, but I did, well, I was super excited for it, and I'm holding it in my hands, um, it is a pretty awesome device, I have to say. Uh, it's it, in size. It's like the exact same size as a as a DS Lite, maybe a little thicker and a bit wider, I guess, um, or longer for that. Like Michael Jackson's dick. Sorry. <laughs> yes, exactly. Keep going. Keep going. Exactly. He, he's dead. You can't. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like. He's like. Fuck you guys. Hee <laughs> hee. Um. <laughs> I'm just gonna go screw a little kid. <laughs> oh. Oh God. Yeah. Fuck Michael Jackson. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> fuck Michael B as well. They're both Michaels and yeah. they suck. Fuck Michael. Um. So yeah, so it was basically a DS Lite with better graphics, a analog stick or slider. It's called a circle pad, and it actually is a really good analog nub uh, from what I'm feeling it right now. You know, it's uh, really smooth and stuff. Um, and it comes with, the, and it comes with a five-hour battery life on top of that, which is holy shit. That, that battery that's life damn is good. That's like yeah. That's like you know, uh, it's, it's way like the battery than, life yeah. on my desktop. Yeah. Get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a terrible chance. Uh, yeah, it, the battery life is pretty terrible on it. It's like three to five hours for playing 3DS games, and then like five to eight on normal DS games. And even though it's pretty bearable for the Nintendo DS, like playing just regular DS games, uh, it's still not even like half of what the DS Lite can do, uh, which is like up to like 18 hours, which is freaking crazy. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if it, besides all that, like it's a really solid system. Like the build quality on it's really good. Um, it has a really shiny surface on it, though. I wish it wasn't shiny all over the place, but um, I, I personally got the Cosmo Black one, and that's the other thing I don't like is they only had the freaking aquamarine blue or Gay black. Gay blue! Black. And, no, but, like, really, like, at E3 when they first announced it, like, you know, last year, they, uh, you know, they announced a you know, whole myriad of colors for it, so uh, I was wondering why the hell, you know, where the fuck are all the colors? Because they have, like, red and green and shit, you know? Um, no, but it's really cool and stuff. It has an SD card slot like the DSi, and you can like store movies and stuff on it. It of course has the 3D screen, which is a- which is actually like really impressive. Like the 3D effect is um, really good. Uh, it's it's subtle, which I like. So it's not gonna like you know, oh, I'm sticking a spear at your face uh, like that. Yeah. But like you can see like death. You can see you, it's the games have more of a sense of depth uh, when you're playing with them and stuff. But. Uh, Honestly, like I wouldn't get the 3DS just for the 3D because the graphics look freaking awesome on it, considering it's a handheld, and uh, and just like the whole like software, it it looks it looks very Wii fied, like it uh it the 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 me- the menus and stuff, like it has a home menu and stuff that you go to, and then you can load your game through there, and then it, you can uh basically go back to the home menu to uh and stuff like yeah. that. So it's a lot more uh it's a lot. It's a, the menu's really streamlined and stuff. There's friend list and stuff. Uh, you still have to use friend codes, but thankfully now it's only per system, and it goes towards it goes through all of your your 3DS games. Um, when playing normal DS games, you still have to use friend codes for those. But uh, other than that, like for all your 3DS games, it just uh, it covers all of those. So you only have to enter that one friend code for your 3DS. Woo! And then uh, you can actually and you can actually see what other people are playing. You can't message them though, which is stupid. But um, hopefully, like Nintendo can 
maybe Nintendo will do a system update to like add that, but you know. Yeah. But it's actually a pretty ambitious system uh, for Nintendo standards, and you know I really like it a lot. The only my only complaint is that the launch titles aren't that great, other than like Street Fighter Four and Ridge Racer, which I've I have Street Fighter Four, but and that's a pretty fun game. Uh, but I, I I still have yet I need to get more used to it because I've never played a Street Fighter game before. What? Uh, it's fun. It's fun. What? It has, uh, you, know, you never played Street Fighter one or two or no? Man, fuck you. Well, sorry, chance. All right. I have better games to play, like freaking yeah, Mario. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, well, better. I remember the days when I was staying at my friend's house. we like, let's play Street Fighter. And I'd be like, yeah, and we just play Street Fighter all day. Did you really have that high-pitched voice? I still have it now. I'm just trying to make my voice deeper for the podcast. <laughs> that was my normal voice. Yes. Yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if, in case you weren't aware, Chance, for, uh, Chance is like 10 years old. So Yeah, I, I'm 10 years old, and my pecker's really like three inches to... long. It's, it's, a, it's like a tuna can down there. <laughs> yeah, he's able to be really deceptive in his uh you know thinking make you guys think he's like 16 and actually have yeah. it you know this is all true this is all true fuck you <laughs> um so yeah so all in all the 3ds is actually a really solid system it's just it's not perfect though and the launch isn't perfect either so if you want to get a 3ds but you're not sure of like what games to get i would wait until june when like uh also also um they don't have like the Ninte- like the 3ds store yet or the web browser that's supposed to be on it i mean they'll add that in a in a in an update but um but it's not available day one, so I would wait till June when like Ocarina of Time's out, uh, Star Fox 64 is out and stuff. If you want Woo! the remake, they look freaking awesome, and uh, you know just uh, more games and stuff. And I personally can't wait for Paper Mario, and um, now the the newly announced Super Mario 3DS, which was announced back at uh, G- GDC last month, and then uh, and the screenshots look actually you know really cool considering it's you know it's it's going to be on the handheld and not you know an actual console. Um, Evan. Um, Evan. Yeah. Um. Remember when we said this podcast is going to be a little bit shorter? Maybe we should wrap this up, you know, move oh, on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're not even past, like, the first... Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff on our list, and I'm going on and on. So, yeah. basically, wait till June if you're not sure whether to get the 3DS or not, because better games will be out, and it'll have, like, the the the, the online shop. So, uh, that, that, that does it for that. Um, yesterday, as of, you know, recording this, uh, was April Fool's Day. And if you yeah. don't know what April Fool's Day is, it's basically bas- uh, you know, pulling practical jokes and pranks and jokes on all your uh, friends and non-friends. Although if you if you you know yeah. d- if you did stuff to p- that other people didn't like and they weren't your friends, they'd probably you know beat the shit out of you. So I wouldn't do that. Um, and you know there's a couple of cool things like YouTube did like their top five uh, memes or whatever for 1911 or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was, actually, it was actually pretty funny. Uh, Although a little predictable, I guess, but it, it was it was actually genuinely good. Uh, and Google had like their uh, Gmail motion thing, which is basically like using Connect controls to do your email, and it was like it was so stupid, but it was amazing, and uh, other stuff like that. So, but who cares about April Fools, really? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, last month, the uh, Unreal Engine 3.9 was. Uh, revealed or like the, the update was revealed and it looks freaking amazing like i didn't really pay much attention to it but um you know maybe you can elaborate more on this chance yeah um i jacked off to it it's uh <laughs> okay okay I, did, I didn't go that far uh i just kissed it and was gonna fuck but it left didn't call me the next morning i ain't seen it since um oh, sorry. but what happened is uh so like crisis 2 came out and they're like oh we're gonna be great on graphics and then unreal's like or epic games or whoever owns unreal they're like yeah, no games. fuck oh. that like, fuck that, we're going to show you something that you can't even do. And then they unveiled this tech demo. And it looks freaking amazing. Like, they, yeah. uh, it now introduces stuff like uh, Tessellation, which basically look makes, uh, like, character models and stuff look more realistic. And mm-hmm. it, it the, the whole lighting and stuff, like, the tech demo for it, it was like a, a rainy city, sort of, like, dystopian, like, future thing. Like Blade Runner, it, it so reminded cool. me of like, Blade Runner. Was, the lighting was so good, and, like, the character models, like, the all the textures were so well done. And it was like, this is Unreal Engine? Like, crap. And the animations were fantastic as well, but it's like... It wasn't like something proprietary, like you know, like a like a Call of Duty engine, or something like that. It's the Unreal Engine, and you know, which a lot of companies use. Like in, it was in use in like you know, Gears of War, Borderlands, uh, Mass Effect. Mass um, Effect One. I think I don't know if Mass Effect Two used it, or it was like a heavily. Yeah, modified. Mass Effect Two uses like three point five, I think. Oh, okay, but yeah, it's just like holy shit, you know, like you know, it's a it's a it's a dev kit kind of, or it's an engine that you you know anyone can use. Well, I think you have to buy it though, but like you know. It has a cheap ass license. You can use the UDK for free, but uh, any profit you make over fifty thousand dollars, they get like yeah, then you have to pay. 
So, I mean, that's pretty awesome, though. And then, you know, the fact that it looks so good and it looks like a really solid engine, plus the fact, you know, that anyone can have it almost. Yeah. You know? I mean, you probably have to pay it for it and stuff, but it's not like, it's not like you know, it's proprietary and only, like, you know, one company uses it for their own game. It's it's, mm-hmm. it's really, really cool. I would take a look. I would search, like, Unreal Engine 3.9 tech demo on YouTube and see for yourself because it looks freaking... Yeah. Holy shit. Um, now, last... Almost, almost a month ago... Uh, these new these games called Pokemon Black and White version came out. I never heard of those games. Yeah, and they're awesome. Uh, I've been playing it for you know since it came, since it came out. I got it day one, and I I wonder why they they released it like so soon, like you know right before the 3DS came out. Like I wish they made it for, specifically for the 3DS. But yeah, uh, that reminds me. I think that what they did was trying to squeeze out one more game that involved sprites yeah. before moving on. That's Good just point. what but, I um, think. But uh, if you're, it's awesome. It's really fantastic. Like the, you know, you you think it's more of the same, and it actually kind of is in some ways. Like you know, the whole Pokemon battling system, and everything, like all that's still like mainly the same since you know Red and Blue for that matter. But they introduced so many new features in this game that like it's it, it's it feel it's such a it's it's like it's a reboot almost of the series, even though the series has been going strong ever since you know the fir- the first games, and. Uh, like they have to see like just uh just uh for a couple examples they have like seasons now which will change every month so it's like you know it's sometime so you can be playing in like spring summer fall or winter and that can affect like you know which pokemon can come out or which which areas you can access and stuff like that and um you know you, you only encounter new pokemon in this game like in the main storyline i mean after you beat the game you can get like you know if you want to charge out your game you can totally do that and um, but speaking of the Pokemon, they're also animated sprites, and that really like uh, along with like the dynamic camera that's in the uh, like the camera will actually move throughout the battle and stuff. Um, and with uh, coupled with the fact that like the sprites are now animated and everything, it totally it they totally breathes new life into the game, and it's a lot faster paced as well. But um, I'm just rambling on and on and on. Uh, I don't know what you have to say about it, Chance. I love Pokemon. Yeah. Um. And- Wait, what are we think, talking about again? Pokemon? Did we move on or? Uh, uh sure, but um, uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, do, I mean, just barely covering over it. Like, I love Pokemon, and I, but I do agree that like it's been going stale since like Ruby and Sapphire. Like, it def- it, this was definitely the case for like Diamond and Pearl and stuff. Like, it just they didn't really add much new to like the game and and stuff in terms of that. But like, Black and White is basically what Diamond and Pearl should have been. Yeah, I'll or agree Platinum that. for that matter. Like, there's so many new features in the game, and it's so much more streamlined and everything now. And it, I mean, it's not perfect. It's still it still has some problems and stuff, but um, like, th- th- if it, th- these are the Pokemon games you want to go for, like, I, in my opinion, it's like th- they're the best games since like Gold and Silver. Yeah. So, and that really says something, considering like you know I've been a huge fan of the series and stuff. So um, and they're definitely like my favorite games like since Gold and Silver. Um, so yeah, definitely go for that. White, black or white, they're both awesome. Yeah. Uh, um. Do you, you want. do you think uh they Pokemon Gray will be the next one or something, or probably. I mean, considering you know Game Freak sort of, uh, you know, pattern of releasing a third game for every generation and stuff. You know, there was yeah. Yellow version for you know Red and Blue, and then there was Crystal for Gold and Silver, and then they had, uh, you know, Emerald and then Platinum. So yeah. But yeah, um, you've been playing Bioshock again. Fuck recently. yeah! Best game ever. Mm. I think he's having sex with it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's Chance, a fucking Chance great a game. Right now. Oh I yeah, I know, baby. We're on a podcast right now. <laughs> uh, no, um, Bioshock is how all games should be made. I think, like, I think every game not uh, should not every game should be a shooter, of course, but like, uh, not like Call of Duty or something. But it needs yeah. to be like innovative and stuff. Yeah, but, this um, is, uh... you, you think, but you do think that like Bioshock is more of like is also more of like a work of art. Oh, it as, is as well as the game. I when every time I play it, I put on a little black beret and get like a little bitty uh one of them long wish they could be cigarettes, you know, <laughs> little cigarette holder things. I get okay, them, and I just play it. And every time somebody talks, I'm like, quite yes, I agree. <laughs> and, okay, uh, um, it's that. Yeah, like, I mean, because I mean, considering the game's like three years old and stuff, it you you would you would highly recommend it to anyone. Fuck yeah, basically. I'd recommend it to anyone except it. Some people, it, my first playthrough, it only got me like one time. There are a few, yeah, scary parts. Maybe, maybe I, it has to be your type of scare, uh, though. It's uh... all right. Um, Mass Effect Two got its final piece of DLC uh, for the game called Arrival, and you played it. What do you think? 
It's uh, great, but it's not up to par with the other two. For people who have played Mass Effect 2, those are... Um, but Lair of the Shadow Broker is the second one, I think. I don't know yeah, what the first one is. Yeah, and Overlord. Um, I liked Overlord the most, my, my favorite. I just like the way the story... It has its own little story and stuff. I thought it was better than the other two. Does, does it add like a do they add like a, a a lot of content and stuff for being DLC or what? Well, for or are they pretty uh, short to get through? The like, do you think they're worth the price or anything? Or I think that the first two are worth their price, and this third one should have been maybe lowered a couple bucks. It's still worth the money. I would have I paid for it, so. But it's not bad at all. No, it's not bad at all. It's yeah. great, even. And um, yeah, but Mass Effect Two is an absolutely fantastic game. I haven't played it though, but I've heard absolutely great things about it. It's been voted, you know, it's been, it's consi- widely widely considered to be Game of the Year last year. Yeah. You know, contending with Super Mario Galaxy Two and Red Dead Redemption, of course. This is the way um, I see it. I see Bioshock as a work of art, and Mass Effect Two as like a movie turned interactive. Mm-hmm. That and like uh, Uncharted Two. Yeah. For, for instance, Uncharted Two is absolutely amazing. I played that game, and it's wow. Yeah. The graphics on it are incredible and stuff, but um. Um, yeah, but uh, moving on from there, um, later this month, Portal 2 is going to be coming out, and uh, you being a dedicated WoW whore, uh, what do you think about it? I mean, not WoW, Valve. Yeah, I love Valve. WoW. Valve. I just play Sorry. World of Warcraft all the damn time. <laughs> I'm just, man, I, my paladin is, has a huge cock or something, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Valve, Valve whore, sorry. Yeah, well, they, there they, we go. They have the same, they have the same owl sound. Yeah, so, I, I, I think I got a few. I, I just get brain farts all the time. So, but yeah, but you being a Valve whore, what do you think of Portal 2? Okay, I'm not a Valve whore. I, that is the only partner I'm with is Valve, so technically I'm totally... It's like almost... It's not premarital or anything. Me and him, he's my only partner. So oh, I mean, no, but like, what, I mean, what do you... I mean, like, are you are you excited for Portal 2 and stuff, you know, considering um, you're a huge fan of Orange Box and stuff? And that honestly, had the uh, Portal and, 2, I've been thinking about it. I think it may actually... Like, as far as Metacritic and stuff goes, I think it might actually get more recognition than Half-Life 2. I really do. Hmm. I really think it'll be that good. I I yeah. don't... Like, the first one... Had, like, I recall somebody on, like, uh, the Portal 2 forums. I think it was Doug Lombardi, the, the sales manager at Valve. He said uh-huh. something like, um, like, Portal 1 was a... Uh, kind of like a tech demo and portal 2 is a game he said that you shouldn't compare the two okay and like uh speaking of but like, like portal, Valve, but portal 2 is more of like a big it's it's a lot bigger in a way than like portal 1 yeah from what uh, heard. I, I heard from what we've been hearing campaign like there's two campaigns everybody knows a co-op and a regular one yeah the co-op sounds really interesting i mean considering you know what you can do with the portal gun stuff yeah me and fag boy matt or yeah me and fag boy matt are gonna do co-op together Side boy Matt. Yeah. Oh Matt. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Portal Two. Like I think each campaign somebody said is like ten hours long each. Huh. Interesting. So you can get so a good idea. It's pretty. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty long good. game, and I support that. <clears throat> so that's like twenty hours worth of content. You can do the single player by yourself, and then you can do some co-op with a friend. And Sounds that's awesome. What I think is really neat is that like uh, I'm a and big fan. Pro- oh, sorry. Um, I'm a big fan of like uh. Like, I'm not into multiplayer games, but I freaking love, like, story-based games. And being that they combine the two with co-op having its own campaign, like, both single-player, pe- people who love single-player games and people who love multiplayer games can find something in this game. Mm-hmm. And also, I think I think if you buy the PS3 version of the game, you it, you get it. It's also for PC, I think, too. Like, or yeah, I don't know how it works. a free version for the PC if you buy it for PS3. Huh. So what you so, can do? So it's basically, buy... like almost no point for buying it for PC. Then, if you just if you get it for PS3, you can buy play on both the console and the PC. Yeah, you should be all like, I'm gonna buy it for the PS3 version. Da, 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 da. Hey, I'm gonna install it. Da, 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 da. Hey, GameStop, take this game back. It doesn't work. Get your money back, and you have a free Portal 2. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. Yeah. Um, you have anything else to say about that, or is, it, is that it? No, that's it. I'm just looking forward to it. It's just small. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I, I mean, I I liked Portal. I played it for like an hour or so, but I didn't really get into it. Same with like stuff like Red Dead Redemption and the first Mass Effect. Like, I really need to get back to those games because I know I yeah. I appreciate them for being there and stuff. You know, they're great games and stuff. But um, I really need to. I, it's I don't know. It just never really captured my attention. Mm-hmm. Um, Crisis Two just came out, and uh, I don't have it though. I never played the first Crisis, but you have and you like it a lot. I um, like uh, yeah. The first Crisis was amazing. Yeah, and you know, <clears throat> of course, incredible graphics and stuff. Crisis Two looks incredible as well. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! But um, you know, but uh, I I hear you know, like the multiplayer and stuff borrows some elements from like Call of Duty, but like it does flesh out. It, it is pretty fleshed out and fun. Mm-hmm. Um, 
because of like the nano suit abilities and stuff. Thing is, they say it's unbalanced. They say it's like yeah, like you can become invisible and snipe and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard. Invisible sniping, go back invisible. They can't find you. Yeah. Um. Oh, Kyle just I am me. We uh, we tried to add him, but uh, like I I I I am him, but he like didn't respond to like what he say I am'd him, like a half an hour ago. Oh, he's like you know I can do it. I can join if you want, but uh, we're almost done. Yeah, there's really no point. Fuck you, Kyle. Yeah. No, we love you, Kyle. We'll we'll yeah. see you here next. We love you next episode, dude. Um. So yeah, but I've heard fantastic things about Crisis Two. Um, I don't know if it's as good as the first one from what I've heard, but it's still, like, a really solid game nonetheless. Like, it's really good. Um, so, you know, I would definitely be on the look, you know, if you are if you want to buy, if you're, like, a huge fan of the first Crisis, like, uh, I, I believe you'll like the second Crisis. But don't don't take my word for it. I would look at, uh, you know, sites like GameSpot, IGN, you know, 1UP, or, you know, Joystick for that matter, and, you know, see their reviews and stuff, and then decide for yourself whether you, or not you want to get it, if you haven't gotten it already. Um, we were gonna talk about Boltstorm because you like Boltstorm a lot, but that game's yeah. like a month old, so it's old. It's yeah, <laughs> every day, one month after something comes out, it's old. Yeah, sorry. Oh, so I mean, did you want to talk about it, though? I mean, I hear it's good. I'll tell. I'll yeah. say a few things about it. Like, um, I got it because my friend, he um, uh, he actually gifted it to me, not on Steam or anything. It was like a real life friend. He gave it to me for the 360. That's awesome. But I didn't play it. <laughs> oh. Instead, I pirated the PC version, gave it back, and told him, you know what, we'll just say that I have it so I can justify me pirating it. So I pirated it, and technically <laughs> I do have the game, so don't... We don't support pirating, though, so we don't, don't No, pirate. we don't support piracy. Do not do it. It's a horrible, horrible addiction. Do not do it. <laughs> do not do it. Um, yeah, but you like it? Oh, it was a fun, like, like all things... Nowadays, like all things in general, the single player is always better than multiplayer. Opinion, um, <laughs> but if you yeah, like, I mean, sometimes sometimes I just want to you know dwell into like a yeah. you know a good solid single player game rather this, than just uh, the multiplayer. The campaign is rather short; it's like six, seven hours long, which is typical for shooters. But like the thing that I found that's really enthralling about it was uh, it's the skill shot system, which adds replay value to the game itself. But among that. Like, the way they make the gameplay, like, if you have a sniper rifle, you can um, aim it at somebody, and when they appear in your crosshairs, you can actually control the bullet with the mouse, huh. and you can steer it to where you want to hit. That's pretty, awesome. It is fucking awesome. Good. And um, another thing is the the marketing for that game was pretty awesome in, for, in yeah. the form of uh, 2D calls. It was the, uh, for those of you that didn't know, they, uh, um, what was it, Epic Games? Didn't Epic Games develop it, or? No, I, no? well, kind of. It's a sub... I don't know how it was. Oh, yeah, it was them, and then uh, people can fly. I think that was yeah, the which is studio. owned by Epic Games, but whatever. yeah, but um, they they basically made a parody of Call of Duty and did like all the they and it, it's it's it was it's it's like really shoddily put together. It's like totally half assed, but they I think they they intentionally did it, and it's yeah. and it's it's actually like really accurate in terms of like what Call of Duty you know does. Yeah, and stuff like all the cliches that are found yeah, in it. I love that. So, uh, I would definitely watch a YouTube video of it, or you can actually play it yourself. But um, <laughs> there's you, no you can, point. Yeah, yeah. No. There's no point installing like a like you know, it's like a five gig game, and it's like ten minutes to play through it. <laughs> it's it's it, it yeah. I would watch it on YouTube. It's pretty cool. I heard um, multiplayer is awesome though. <laughs> uh, yeah. It doesn't doesn't Boldstorm have a multiplayer? Even though that you'd really want to play. It, it has a uh, two forms of multiplayer. One's like a you and your stuff. friends are going up against waves of enemies, and you have to try to get the most. And compete with other teams. Oh, okay. So other is one... it kind of like Firefight or um, in Halo? Yeah, or yeah. No? I'd compare it to Firefight. And the other one, it's not a multiplayer mode. It's just called Echoes mode. And you just web of enemies by yourself. Or no, you go through a part of the level in the campaign with the highest score you can get. Oh, okay. So it adds Good. an arcade style, really. All right. Um, well, that really does it for the show for now. I mean, we don't have a... Oh, much else to talk about unless but you know. next time we will so yeah. be sure and make suggestions yes yeah, so yeah please send us suggestions for you know naming the podcast and stuff we'll definitely consider them unless they're you know stupid yeah and then hopefully we'll actually have more people on the podcast next episode yeah. i apologize that it was a little boring but you know we've been oh, I thought we've, it was interesting. Uh, chance I and i have definitely been wanting to do this for a while you know yeah. reboot the podcast thing again so uh you know but hopefully you know won't be you know all uh, based yeah. around you know my name as a whole and stuff you know because all of us here you know are cool people and stuff so uh, thank you for watching um, this should be both on YouTube I mean this should be up on both YouTube and the uh, my podcast I'll I'll create like a link for that but um you know since I can create longer videos now I can just upload the whole thing I think yeah uh, and uh, you know, support and totally the podcast well. by sending us one hundred dollars each 
If yeah. you do that, <laughs> we will go to your house and we will give you a vintage hug. Yes. A Period. Hug. A hug. Yes. Don't don't waste this opportunity. Don't uh, waste it. Yeah. So hopefully hopefully YouTube won't whine about you know this video being uploaded because it's, you know it's pretty much all our content except for like you know whatever music I decide to use for like the intro and outro. But um, I'm Evan. Uh, Chance. Uh, yeah. Thanks for being on here. No problem. You're awesome. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys then. See you later. See you guys. See you, Don. See you, Don. Bye.